We're on our way up to Stormont uh, with a bus full of young girls here and we're heading up to Stormont to have a silent protest and to ask a very clear question of Arlene Foster and the DUP. The RH humiliate you. The young people here um, have been on the front end of this protest since it began nine months ago and we have galvanised whole sex in society. August Tamatik Sewell, Galani Lisson and Taki Aksen Ogerson and Actors Shaw. Tamadara Malak, Gustormand, Agdanu Agaj Hostak, Ladini Yoga, Alyaru Fiamon, they're not going to go hugging to Sahu Shaw. Tan Nalahinta Shen Hart, Yve Majigal or Isis Yaksa Waksa Shen, Tamadigil of Ark Yarta, August Tamadig Lagi Shen, Gustormand, August Lanhi Majorani, Fakta Siak Maradurk Majin Yohan, Gijig Walark Yarta Ogan. Actanish. It's absolutely brilliant to see so many young people to come up again onto the hill of Stormont to, to campaign, to protest for their rights. But the, the message is very, very clear today from these young people that have come from from at knee school right up to man school. So that's from wee school right up to big school. These young people have come up to say that their language rights humiliate no one, that they're asking for their rights to be protected in legislation. It's very, very reasonable. It's about, I think, two things. It's about a practical uh, affording of their rights, but it's also about them being rec given recognition that their Irish national identity is respected at the heart of government. They re remain committed to wanting to make the institutions work, but they have to work on a sustainable basis. They have to work on the, on the terms of equality. They have to deliver for all citizens. The Irish language protest here today is at the heart of the current political impasse. So it's very reasonable requests. Let's set up an executive that's got equality at its core, that's got integrity and that respects all people's rights. Well it's brilliant to see so many young people up here to see the continued vibrancy in the uh, Art Gaelic campaign. This has been uh, one of the central issues in the negotiations that have been taking place in this building. We have been pressing very hard for a standalone rights based Irish Language Act. That demand has come from the Irish media community, from the broader nationalist community, from people across all communities who are interested in learning Irish. Uh, the, the rights for Irish speakers threaten no one, they humiliate no one, and I think that was a clear message of today's protest. The Irish language humiliates absolutely no one, but comments like Curry My Yogurt and the Irish Language Act been used for toilet paper does, and what we need to do is get into a space where rights are afforded to people, that they're done so willingly, that the sky won't fall in if there's an Irish Language Act, but most of all that these children and young people, their future, they will not be like second class citizens. So that's what today was about and I was glad to be here. Sinn Féin, Goanna Nis Carta Agus Aintas Naharan, Equality, Rights and Irish Unity.